Good morning, guys. Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. I'm here with my brother. Uh, pretty much just got something to eat, and now we are chilling. So you guys saw from the last video, we got the hood on there, and we have the bumper, the M Sport bumper that looks absolutely insane. So this bumper is from Keys Motorsports. If you guys want to link to that, link down below. And this hood is from Souvenir. They're getting a restock on this soon, so the links to be down below. If they don't have it now, they will have it in about a week or two. But anywho, today we have some things going on on the side of the car. We also have the major thing I want to get done to the rear end of the car, uh, which is pretty much the rear bumper the previous owner did a cutout for a dual exit exhaust and I really don't like that it just it just looks so bad um, these tips I love how they look but I might need to actually replace them with bigger tips mainly because these do look a little small for this car this is a 5 series a big boy so I mean we might have to upgrade the tips as well but as for now let's just go ahead I think I want to do the rear bumper first I'm really stoked for that so let's go ahead and do the rear bumper get yeah, the rear bumper right here side skirts and if we have time I think I'm a few other little mini goodies so currently the two wraps that I was looking at is officially sold out everywhere metro restyling which is where i get my wrap ebay and amazon so you don't have it anywhere which really sucks and so at this point i'm like should i just get the car painted or i don't know i don't know i need you guys to really help me out i looked at the last video a lot of you guys had a few comments about some colors but you guys didn't put the full colors so i wasn't able to actually find the exact one you guys are talking about so please link down below wraps and wrap colors you guys want to see the five series wrapped in without further ado uh yo bro are you ready to do this or what I've been ready. You've been ready? All right, dude. Let's hurry up and get this. I really want to get this bumper on here. So let's go ahead and just see how this bumper looks. Actually, no. We should probably take this off and then see the bumper. A little reward for ourselves for taking off the bumper. Okay. So uh, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, guys. Something we realized, because um, also my 435, this is a little piece that goes here, a little rubber uh, seal right here. You can just go ahead and remove this and it exposes the screw. So we may not actually have to remove the actual tail light. So we're gonna go ahead and test it on this side, jack up the car, and then uh, pretty much remove the bumper and see if these tabs will come out on their own. If they'll come out on their own, we don't have to even remove the tail light. But if we actually have to physically push these in to pull it out, then uh, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, remove the tail light on the other side. Anywho, these are a solid block of billet aluminum and they're saying they're made in the USA, which is pretty cool. Look at the detail and it's like, that's unnecessary. You don't have to have that, but the detail they put into their products is beautiful. Same with like the JV4, the quality of them, it just feels amazing. And these are just really nice to have. And this is actually something you kind of have to have. If you guys are wondering where this goes, when you jack up your car, there's a little jack pod. You need to put this jack pad inside of it. That's how you properly jack up a car. A lot of people just jack on this and you end up destroying this. So that's why it's a good reason to have these. And these look so nice. It's just kind of like a cool addition to have in your mechanic garage. These look amazing. These won't get destroyed easy at all. Made in the USA, this is a beautiful quality. Now that we have the car jacked up, we can go ahead and just remove all the bolts holding on this weather guard and start taking off this bumper. Big boy right here. All right, guys, I was able to pop this bumper without actually reaching in for the tab. So don't remove the tail lights. Uh, you can just remove the little guard here, like I said on the other side. Remove this one bolt and then just remove all the other bolts and you guys are good to go. The tail light is not necessary on this newer cars. Thank the Lord. So yeah, we got we put extra work on ourselves. We went ahead and put back the tail light, the whole rest of the trunk. You guys don't need to do anything with the trunk at all. Just remove the two side pieces here, remove those bolts. Really easy to do the rear bumper on this car. How, how fast did you end up doing that if we didn't have to take apart the trunk? It's like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, super easy. So we do have the new box right here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I think the OEM bumper, if you guys want it, I will keep it for two days. So if anyone wants it for the next two days, let me know. I'll give it to you guys. It does have the cutout. Somebody did cut out for the dual exhaust. So I'm, I, I feel like this is pretty much garbage, but if you guys want to put something on there, it's up to you guys. So if you guys want this bumper, it's yours. Come pick it up. All right, guys, so we just got the 535 rear bumper. This is the M Sport, so I'm super stoked for this. Plus, we have the dual exit exhaust, so it should make the rear end really come together. Obviously, I've got a bunch of different colors right now in the car, but hopefully we get the whole car either painted or wrapped. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this bumper. I'm super stoked. Right 
All right, guys, so here is the dual exit diffuser. Um, this isn't actually like the actual bash bar, I guess like the support bar maybe, and a little under skid plate. So I'm assuming this is a little bit low, so uh, we're gonna have to actually move this, you're gonna have to remove that, and uh, just get rid of pretty much this plate right here. I think this just comes out, I don't even care if I break it to be honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that, replace it with that, and then we're going to throw on the bumper. So again, full time lapse mode, let's go ahead and get this done. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the original bottom skid plate. So we're getting rid of that. We're actually putting on this new skid plate. So let me just get that real quick. We don't need that anymore. We have to take out the bumper again because we forgot to plug in the sensors. Oops. All right, guys, the M Sport bumper is on here and it looks so much better. I'm actually shocked how the exhaust saw pretty much got it centered, like dead center on both sides. He did a great job, <laughs> like lining those up. I have to, have to work on the diffuser fitment right there. Other than that, for a bumper straight out of the box, everything bolted up perfectly like OEM. It's looking really good, guys. I'm actually really happy with the rear bumper. It came out amazing. So now they have the M Sport rear bumper looking like a boss. We have the GT hood and the M Sport front bumper. I think it's time to put on the side skirts. We definitely need to pick up some fenders. So I'm gonna be looking out for some fenders as well. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, figure out how to remove these side skirts and install some new side skirts. Talk to me, baby. You have the doors open the side skirts like kind of bulge between the doors but uh yeah just keep doing your thing the he's gonna go ahead and pry it and uh we're gonna get this whole side skirt off pretty quick guys we, uh, this thing needs a wash i'm sorry actually it's not too dirty nah it's dirty but it's not like on there on there anyhow uh yeah i need to clean the car almost there there we go out with the old boys we're gonna cut a little bit weird mainly so we can put the two original side skirts back in here but uh let's check this out let me show you guys how this looks it's straight just flat there is no curves on this side skirt whatsoever. So I'm hoping we got some fat gaping, <laughs> you know, something nice on here. Oh, buddy. Hey, check out that M style. Damn. Now we're talking. Now we're definitely talking. This is gonna be sick. All right, let's go ahead and throw that sucker on. And just like that, guys, we have the side skirts, the M Sport bumper. Let me go ahead and take this out for a little drive and show you guys this out in the sunlight. But uh, finally have the M Sport bumpers, M Sport side skirts, GT hood. I believe it's a GT hood. I'm not 100% sure. And the M Sport bumper that completes the M Sport conversion. And then we also have. M5 style wheels. I actually felt the back of them. I could actually feel text behind it. So I do actually believe these are real M5 rims, but I need to make sure 100%. But I have a good, I have a good feeling it is. Any, let me go on and take out the garbage. I get back to you guys in about. Ah! Five minutes. All right, guys, this is the next day. We're actually, Jonathan just came over. We're about to get something to eat, but uh, hey, buddy, I need you to head over there next to the F10. Initial impressions of the before and after. It looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it does look a lot better. I do want to get some car from Eric Caps, and obviously we got to paint match the whole car. Should I wrap it or paint it? I think you should wrap it. Okay. See, and the the uh, you see, and that's the smarter option. The smarter and the other thing, wrapping. Okay, Are you saying wrapping or paint? I was reading through the comments on your last video. Yeah. And a, like there was like a war. You should have seen the comment. Like it was a no, war. Really? But I think everyone was saying paint. I think everyone was saying wrap. Really? No, everyone was saying paint, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll throw up. I'll throw up the comments I saw from the last video right here. But I'm pretty sure everyone. Was, there was like somebody like somebody. Like two comments had like 30 or 40 likes that were like paint the car. I'm gonna put up a little poll this time up there. Wrap or paint? Whatever that goes, we'll end up doing. So yeah, we got the full. M sore body kit. What do you think of the rear bumper? It is so easy to install. I think it took really? about like it should be only like 10 minutes to install. Oh my God. It was so easy. It looks so good. Like the tips are perfect with the diffuser, also. Yeah. Like, it looks good. I like it. Jonathan just picked up an F30 335. Finally joined the M55 game. Finally, dude. Finally. It's been some time to be honest. And yeah. uh, man, you were getting water stains. I know, dude. I I had to like stop parking in front of my house. I have to park on the other side of the street. Cause yeah. Dude. Because my sprinklers go off like every day, so it's just bad. No, that's what no one parks on the actual driveway. Sprinklers are all over that. Anyhow, but yeah, he got a full, like he got a really nice spec. 
Mavic F30 335 full option. That's the thing that's crazy. So he, he had two choices to go with one that's full option or to go with one that's M Sport. And the thing is you can always put an M Sport body kit, but you can't always get all these features. Here's a few of them right off the bat. 360 camera. What is it? HID? Oh, adaptive headlights, blind spot detection. It's got the nice white interior sports seats, paddle. It has like the lane departure. Lane departure. It has the lane assist like Jotha said earlier, heads up display, heated seats, heated rear seats. Like guys, what the heck? And look at the trim in this thing. It's so nice. Every button, every package this car has. So this is definitely the right option for Jonathan. Congrats to you again, brother. This is such a nice car. Black headliner, beautiful. So the exterior, yeah, it's not the best color, but Jonathan does plan on wrapping the car, getting a full body kit on it. If you guys want to stay tuned on an F3335 build, Jonathan's channel is going to be linked down below. Check it out. But uh, yeah, ooh, can I drive it? Yeah, oh, we can drive it. Okay, let's go. Sport. Oh, and the key has the red line on it. Mine says the blue for M Sport, but I think this is like a sport package, right? Sport line. It's sport sport line. lines. Guys, it even says the speed limit. What? And don't forget, guys, the Harman Kardon. Damn. Look at you, bro. <laughs> Damn, is that a Ferrari? The Ferrari just won by guys. So we just got at Chili's. They're gonna go ahead and bring us our food right there, and the car's gonna eat, and then we're gonna head home. This guy weird. Looks like a plate for the car. For the car. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, yeah. So uh, let's see what food we get. We just got the food. You ready, boy? Three and chill out of soon. Oh <laughs> boy, let's get it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and chow down. Check back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. We are officially home. The guys got the food just chilling like a villain right there, and uh, we got the drinks. We got Jonathan. We're about to just chow down, edit the video, and just get this out for you guys tomorrow. We're actually looking at some other things for new merch ideas for him and for me. So we're gonna be looking into that as well. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. If you guys wanna support your boy, cop some merch down below. I'm gonna extend the Fourth of July sale till today because I wasn't able to mention in the last video. So 40% off any accessories in the store. Just use code. July 40, right? Yeah, July 40. Nah, yeah, it's good July 40. Actually, use code NOR40. NOR40, you guys get 40% of any accessories in the store. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.